Very good evening. All my friends, residents of Tanjong Baga GRC, how is everyone feeling this evening? All good? I'm happy to hear that, but I am not surprised to hear that all of you are feeling good. And I can tell you why. Because Singapore is one of the healthiest, if not the healthiest country in the world. Not only that, Singaporeans live the longest among most of the countries in the world. Just because you are born in Singapore, you can expect to live much longer than anyone else who was born in a different country, just because of that. Singapore's healthcare system is also one of the best, and it's not only one of the best, it is also one of the most affordable. Look here, I'm not boasting in case you think I'm boasting. All these words were not said by me. They were not even said by Singaporeans or even by our government. Definitely is not seen by, said by the opposition. But what I can tell you that all of these things are said by other people in other countries, people who have no vested interests, and they put their money where their mouth is. They come to Singapore from all over the world, all over the world to learn from us. Authentic, Authentic and true. But why is it that despite all of this, many of us are still concerned about healthcare and healthcare costs in Singapore? As many of you know, I am a doctor. I'm, I'm also an MP. So I get this feedback both from my patients and my residents. And the reason is, this is not un unusual. During our Singapore conversation, many people said that healthcare was number one in their minds. And so there are many out there who want to bluff you. They come and say, we can make the healthcare system better. We can give you this for free. We can make it cheaper. But is this true? Let me tell you this. If you go to a shopping centre or you read a newspaper, you always read about... Oh yes, let me stop. Let's put our hands together. Our Prime Minister, Mr Lee, stand low! Put our hands together. Our special guest for this evening, our Prime Minister. Welcome, Mr. Prime Minister, sir. Thank you. So as I was saying, if you look at newspapers or in shopping centers or when business people try to tempt you, they always say things like free gift, special discount. But I think if you are a savvy shopper, you will know that the first thing you look at when you see all these offers of free gifts and free discounts or special discounts is that you must look at the bracket, while wow, stock lasts, only for a limited period only. And that, is the, and that is the problem. Even in countries where healthcare is free, you go and ask the people who live there, wow, free healthcare, very good, no need to worry. No. If you go and ask them, they are still worried about healthcare costs because there is a wow stock loss. If you are uncertain of these countries and you have cancer and you go and see a doctor, you say, yes, your treatment may be free. But today, uh, this year, stock over already. For your free health care, you wait until next year, or maybe not even next year, maybe the year uh, after. Okay? So things are not always as they seem. The reason I believe in the PAP government is what they say, they do. They don't promise free gift but small bracket uh, while stock lasts. No such thing. Okay? So this is very critical. We need to have a system which is sustainable. So what else can we do? I think there are many things that our government does okay, to look after our citizens all the way. The most important thing is don't fall sick. Lah. Okay? That is the most important thing. So what have we done? You know, okay, let me just 
give you certain small facts that you may not know. Did you know that we give subsidies to our hawkers to use more healthy or healthier cooking oil in their cooking? Uh, did you know that? Okay, so even without any effort, we go to your hawker centre, most of us do, okay, the government helps the hawkers to give you healthier food. Of course, we give a lot of health screening at all uh, levels to all our residents, to all Singaporeans. Stay healthy. Exercise more. That is the other thing. If you come to Tanjong Paga, all over, you see many fitness corners, you see wellness centres where you can go and keep fit at very little cost. You can even come to great stadiums like this and use their sports facilities with the active SG grants. So there are many, many things that uh, you can do to stay healthy. Finally, if you actually do fall sick, do not worry. I can tell you that as a doctor for so many years in government practice, we've never had to turn away any Singaporean because they were, he or she was unable to pay their medical bills. Now, with Pioneer Generation Package, no need to worry. And not just that, we just heard from our Prime Minister during his National Day rally recently, now, for all babies born from this year on, with the special grant they get until they are 21 years old, their MediShield Life premiums, other things like uh, vaccinations, all of this will be covered. But we can do more. We can do more. We can do more maybe to support all those uh, who have left hospital but still with physical disabilities. We can do more to support the people who look after them. I, 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 I'm sure that many among you do look after old ones, senior ones, loved ones who may need help with their activities of daily living. Yeah. Vote for us, vote for my team,